Hey, this is Heather Creekmore from Compared to Who. Today I want to talk about body image idolatry. Now some of you are thinking, I have absolutely no idea what she just said, so I'm going to say that slower. Body image idolatry. Essentially making your body image your idol. Now I was raised in a Christian home. I went to Christian schools all the way through graduate school. And I thought that idolatry was the one of the Ten Commandments that I never had to worry about because I didn't have any little gold statues in my house. In fact, we didn't even have a garden gnome just in case that was some sort of idol. But you see, that's not really what idolatry is about. Idolatry is about replacing our Savior with something else that we believe can save us. And the truth is, for many decades of my life, I believed that beauty or a better body would save me. By save me, I mean, I mean that I believed somehow, I mean, it's, it's a little embarrassing to confess this, but I believed that if I could just look better, then I would feel freer. I would feel more joyful. I would feel more loved. That I would experience that peace that I always longed for. You see, I thought all those things would come when I could stop dieting and just would finally be at a certain size and I would just be happy there forever. But that wasn't really true. And in fact, that was part of my idolatry. I thought that a better body would save me. If you struggle with your body image, can I just encourage you to explore the concept of body image idolatry along with us on compared to who.me? It's something that you don't hear talked about a lot, so I understand that's unfamiliar, but perhaps we can kind of dig into it together. For me, I found that once I was able to identify the root of my body image issues as body image idolatry issues, I was able to find new freedom that I never found through trying to change my size or, or losing that couple pounds I thought would help. Now, once I realized that my body image issue was a heart issue, and actually a sin issue that was standing in the way of my relationship with God, then I was able to find real freedom. And maybe you want to find that freedom too. Thanks so much. I hope you'll join us on compared to who.me and we can talk about this more.